What's up, everybody? I'm Combat. Call me Red. My boy Zine. What's going on? It's my man Cub right there. You know, we want to welcome you to the Combat Cub podcast, where we're going to reflect on fashion topics. Okay. Combat tech. Yes, sir. Funny videos. Hmm. News around the world. <laughs> Whatever anybody want to reflect on. Sounds good. But enough of me. Let's get to this cast. Right, Let's we- go. <laughs> oh man. It's good though. It's wonderful. <laughs> Got a lot of music, man. Got I do. I do. But hello world. Welcome back. Combat Cub Podcast episode six, baby. Didn't think I was gonna make it past the first one. <laughs> But before we move on, let's go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, show your boy some love in the comments. Mm-hmm. But I'm Combat. I you know, am Cub. My right hand man, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they can tell us apart. Bro, they're going to learn today. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. And then when, whenever you get ready to go back over to the other one, don't forget your volume. Ten, four. So he's got some surprises for you today. Do I? I ain't got yeah. surprises. I'm just trying to get into the head of my people in the Call of Duty world, you know? Really? Oh, of course, dude. You know, when your aim is all fucked up. If you excuse really? my French. When your aim is all, you know, discombobulated, your gun's jumping all over the place, and Where you get this? mad. Where, where? Bro, check this out. My boy's going to show you, all right? He's going to show you how to... Get your aim steady, and you can just keep killing motherfuckers. In real life, or Bru- really? No, bro. Warzone, oh, man. Warzone two point Okay. Season three. Season three. <laughs> so you said you got somebody that's got the, that's got the goods for it. He us? got the good for it. He got the goods, bro. Can we can we watch it? Well, we can watch it. Let's run it. All right, I'm ready. I mean, because I mean, I always need to get my, you know. If you yeah. won't aim like this. Whoa. Yes. Bruh. Tearing them up. For sure. Good lord. Oh my god. These are the controls that you need to use. He don't tell you where to go, but if you pay close attention to it, you'll figure it out. Yeah. But it works. I got mine set up that way. And I've been kicking ass. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I pissed off a couple people. So have you have you <laughs> played any lately? I, I've been playing. I played this morning. I played last night for shit. I played yesterday for probably about 14 hours. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, man. But uh, season three, download it. Get it. Quick. It's it's, it's fun, man. You get uh, hmm. new characters, a uh, couple of few weapons, you know, but... Okay. All of the above is is better than the first season. Okay, but you know, mm. like every every game, every season of a game, they got shit they still need to work out the kinks with. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I but mean, you set up your guns like that, man, bruh. You won't fail. I tell you that. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's it's something else for sure. But what's up with this haunted video, man? I've been sitting here getting scared about a Belgium mental society. Yeah, you play too much. Well, um trying to give me nightmares and shit. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's fun. Um I don't know I don't know what you're talking about, but uh it being scary and all, but but bro, if you watch as much ghost adventures, ghost stories, ghost hunters, paranormal activities, mm-hmm. like I do, bro, like I don't fuck around in no graveyard. I mean, I I will if I'm drunk, but not for long. Yeah, yeah. Well, this isn't very scary, so should be good. So you say? I uh, I remember when the Teletubbies came out. Back <laughs> <in> the, <house>. <laughs> <laughs> the Teletubbies, man. <laughs> What? I did. 
Please don't tell me you watched the I used to back in the day. Oh, it was, Lord Jesus. It was, I was young. But No, Animaniacs? Would, well, yeah, all that. Arthur, you know. Some I didn't other watch shows. Arthur. Magic School Bus. That's for smart kids. Huh? Yeah, Arthur's for smart kids. I wasn't a smart kid. Well, I was a smart ass, but not a smart kid. I'm not very smart. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> let's get to this video, man. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Are let's you sure? get scared, hell. Are you sure? No, but let's do it. It's kind of weird. Um, if something pops out of me, I'm going to shit myself. Well, the interesting thing is, like, apparently there are... I always wondered why... Um, what's going on here? I always, want, I always wondered why... Why is this going like this? Huh, there's some... Uh, Static. Can you hear the static? Negative. Negative? Okay. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, it's not coming out through the through the uh anyway, so there apparently are um conspiracy theories on how the Teletubbies came about, the Teletubbies show. So I didn't know that there was. I mean, I always thought it was kind of strange watching that show. I was like, what's wrong with these <laughs> characters? This, <laughs> something's wrong here. Yeah. You know? So uh, I apparently wasn't correct to be, uh, you know, kind of incredulous. So here we go. Here is one of the conspiracy theories. The Teletubbies conspiracy theory claims that the show was inspired by events in a Bulgarian mental facility called La La Land. Psychotic children were purportedly isolated in dark rooms, and apparently four children who died on the same day Weird. inspired the characters in Teletubbies. Lala's facial disfigurement and five years of isolation inspired Lala. The to fuck is day, that? A death what the fuck is that? I don't know. Child Bruh. Was tied to the fence outdoors. Bruh. And it gets worse. <laughs> inspiring Tinky Winky. Bruh, that's some scary ass shit. Donka. Starving and unwell, inspired Dipsy by lying in his vomit for days. Ultimately, Bruh, Paulina fell into a fire <laughs> and was roasted alive. Roasted? Why do you use roasted? I mean, it's... So why are they called the Teletubbies? The children's main source of comfort were the television sets in their room. And when they got word that the mental institution mm -mm. was getting rid of them, the children concocted a plan to hide the TVs. The children would rip out their insides to hide the miniature TV sets that were too big to swallow, only to be found dead by the returning caregivers the next morning. Bro, what the fuck you got me watching? I don't know. When I was scrolling through TikTok, man, um, this is what I kind of found. I was just like, what Dude, the Dude, that, 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 dude, that, just... <sighs> I know it, right? Yeah. Bro, that'll give you nightmares. Really? You damn right. Them little them pictures of them, bro, that was scary as hell. <laughs> oh, I'm wow. sorry. I'm sorry. I guess it's the black in me, but I ain't fucking with them. I don't do porcelain dolls, <laughs> none of that either. Nope. Oh, my goodness. That was scary, bro. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, I thought it was kind of fascinating because I had never heard of any kind of conspiracy theories behind the creation of it. So I was like, okay, that'll be interesting. Man, there's probably shit. conspiracies behind the creation of a lot of shit. Probably. <laughs> like, what do you think about the alien conspiracy? Bro, aliens is real. Ain't no conspiracy to that. It's real. It's Area 51 is real. Area 52 is real. Roswell, real. The landing, real. Aliens, real. The green people, real. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to start burritos. preaching. <laughs> yeah. Bean being burritos... Oh my lord, they real too. Man. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, let's just go ahead and name it off. It's real too. It's real. Damn bean burrito. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, I I always thought that was interesting about like the alien uh thing. I remember I had watched something. I, I've got to find that little clip, but it talks about alien um that the government was saying. Is a UFO uh, disclassified? Well, it's talking about a mothership that's oh, yeah, there, right one. on the periphery yeah, there's of one. the galaxy. No, I mean, come on. 
You got the U.S. military putting together a space force. For what? Yeah. Because they know there's something out there. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, well, if, if this if is a... They wouldn't be doing it if there wasn't. I mean, I don't see how they couldn't believe it's not... There isn't anything out there when this is supposedly a country built on Christianity. They're trying to protect the public. Yeah, but it's Whatever. like... Whatever. I don't trust... I don't believe them bastards. But, I mean, like, think about it. I mean, if this is a Christian-built country... Why don't we believe in other people that live outside of the our galaxy when we read a book that says there is? <laughs> True, but, you know, if we go back into history, this country was actually stolen because the Native Americans are here first. Yeah. Christopher Columbus come over and took it from them. Yeah. So whatever they build, I mean, whatever, but. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to knock my Christian folks. You know, one love. No, oh, no, no, no. Jesus, my nigga. Yeah. It's just, I think it's weird, really ironic how how America's freaking out, right? For the majority, anyway. Left and right. When 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 they believe in, uh, I say they, I also believe, it, well, not believe, I know, but that, you know, uh, there are extraterrestrials, you know? I mean, Jesus is an extraterrestrial and he's human. So, I mean, we all pray to a God that nobody sees. Mm -hmm. It's alien. That's just like if you look into the uh, Latino heritage, the, like the Aztecs, mm -hmm. uh, the Mayans and all of them, they did a lot of sacrifices. And what well, That was probably most people, but they did a lot of sacrifices, human sacrifices, go sacrifices, you know, to the God. That nobody never seen. Mm. But if you look back in Egypt, bruh, who helped them build, put them rocks and build them pyramids? Mm. Because they didn't have the tools nor manpower to get them rocks up them darn pyramids like that. It was the aliens, bruh. Mm. Yeah. I, I think the word alien, it just really cheapens though. What, what the, what the they reality. Want to, they want to say, I ain't sugar coating shit. Alien, yeah. green people. Google eyes. I don't. I, yeah. Tch, bro, they're aliens, man. Yeah. Get over it. And I'm talking about the aliens that crossed the border from Mexico <laughs> to the U.S. I'm talking about the beep, 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 beep aliens. Man. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, man, you know, I wonder if they concoct these terms um, as a way to kind of minimize their reality. I wouldn't doubt that at all. You know? Yeah. You got to make people there. just like, eh, it's not even real. Oh, Meanwhile. it's real. Bigfoot's real. <laughs> Chupacabra's real. I mean, yeah. do the research. Do the research. Watch videos. I mean, it's all there. Yeah. That's why we got the internet. The internet. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the internet. Yeah, um, I do too when I'm playing Call of Duty. <laughs> Man, um... Yeah, everybody's hitting me up right now. But um, yeah, that's interesting. What what else we got on the? I, I looks like you got another video on there. Okay, you want to go ahead and hit that one up? Let's talk about it first. What okay. made you want to select this video? Well, we're living in an age where there are a lot of people waking up to uh, systems that have been in place to. Uh, cause us to act certain ways or to think certain ways in our reality. Um, and this guy, he kind of is really, he really is uh, candid and he's to the point. And you don't see a lot of that these days. Well, these days you kind of do. There are more and more people popping up where they're being honest about what they think or about, what they think about something in particular. Um, and this guy, he has a, a comical way of uh, seriously, not seriously presenting something. Uh, it's an, I don't know how exactly uh, to put it in words. It sounds that. good though. But let's go ahead and show the world what we talking about. Yeah. What you talking about. Yeah. And he, he it's very interesting. So, um, yeah, man. So while I find this thing, 
there's always kind of the there's that quick time. There's the other quick time. All right, I gotta blow this thing up. I still gotta figure out how to make this thing work better. You'll get it. Oh yeah, I'll figure it out one day. I never thought I was gonna be a podcast. Hey, shit happens. I'm you know I'm right there with you. I don't right. I'm learning this stuff as I go. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I would refer to myself as a slut. Oh. Like, well, if going out on a date with a guy makes me a slut. Hold on. Hey, that's one of the wild and out girls, ain't it? Oh. Huh? Like, ain't that one of the wild and out girls from uh, that Nick Cannon show? I swear to God, I look like one of the wild and out girls. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-mm-mm. Putting you herself ready? out here as a slut. Yep. Right. I would refer to myself as a slut. Oh. Like, well, if going out on a date with a guy makes me a slut, then that's just what I'm going to be. I don't think going out on a date makes you a slut, but having sex with different men makes you, makes you a slut. Well, what does it make you if you have sex with different women? A slut maker. <laughs> a slut maker. <laughs> Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? Okay, right now we're on the corner said? of Hill <laughs> and 6th Street in downtown Los Angeles oh, talking to the shit. sluts. It is slut day. This is crazy. The What's slut today? walk for Emmanuel. real. There's a thing. Well, I didn't do know that. Do your parents know that you support sluts? Yeah. And how do you feel about that? I'm grown. Uh, uh, uh. Is that what they would tell you? <laughs> what no. Oh, they, what, what would they say? I don't know. A safe space for women to do what this they want, dress right here. how they want to, and I think that's so important, so that's why I'm here. Are you a slut? Yes, I am a slut. What? <laughs> what it means to be a slut? It means like, you're sexually liberated, and you feel sexually liberated, and you do what you sexually want without liberated. feeling ashamed. Bro. It's more about yourself, and if guys don't respect you, that's a guy problem. That's not your problem. Are you a slut? Mm. Yeah, hell yes. <laughs> How did and you she become a slut? Watch this. <laughs> I think I was born a slut. I was always a slut from day one. Mm -mm. And what does it mean to be a slut to you? It means to be proud of my sexuality and what I want. And it also means that I have game. <laughs> How many have you slept with so far? Oh, don't make me count. That's going to take a long time. <laughs> wow. Are you a slut? I guess so. <laughs> you are a slut? Sure. You slept with a lot of men? No. See? Those questions are very interesting. But if she wanted to, she could. I'm true. You don't look like a slut. What does a slut look like? Slut look nasty? In what way? Nasty. Do your parents know you a slut? I don't, like, I don't know, dude. Like, sure, I guess so. If they found out about you being a slut, how would you feel about that? I think the way you're thinking of the word slut like, I'm a slut because I'm sexually liberated. So you have slept with a lot of men already? Not me. Are you haven't done it already? Since you a slut. I mean, I just don't feel the need to, or I just don't want to, but if I wanted to, I could. Put Here, me to sleep. She's being done. A slut, like she I get said, her off the mic. <laughs> Ambrose has made this slut walk. You are sexually liberated. And, you know, I'm gonna okay. suggest that you kind of word these questions a bit differently. Why? They're a bit, you know, I mean. And would you let your boyfriend know that you're a slut before marriage? I will talk to him about my sexual past because I believe that's healthy. Well, would you, would you let him know you're a slut? Okay. Okay. Yesterday I was at the uh, <laughs> slut walk and the sluts were out. <laughs> <laughs> sluts was out, Bro, yo. What? They was out walking. Everyone I seen was a slut. That's crazy. <laughs> the man. bus driver was a slut. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't understand. I don't understand it. <laughs> they don't know. They don't understand. It. I don't think they either. I'm like, oh shit. Because I that, understood. Well, she was probably about what? 21, 22? Maybe new gen. It's crazy. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm a slut. It's like you they sleep with a lot shit. of men. She's like, no. No. Right. The, the difference that I I had heard that they are slut is a person that gives it away to anybody and everybody for free. And a whore is a person that charges. <laughs> you right. So <laughs> You right. Why would you want to call yourself a <laughs> slut, man? I don't understand this, this, this world I live the, in anymore. The, this is the thing. This is what gets America all, you know, together. You know, little shit like this yeah. brings little crowds together and starts a big thing for no reason. Yeah, they <laughs> like, don't know what they're doing. 
Right? They don't know what they're doing, man. Like, don't think it through. And next thing you know, it's a, a protest and a riot. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. And they still don't know why they're there. Exactly. And they're just right, going man. along. We got another video. This is actually. Oh, yeah. Another video to get into the gamers world head. Uh, I only checked this video out a little bit. I ain't actually done it myself in game. Mm -hmm. But uh, I probably will sometime this evening. If not this evening, tomorrow evening. Okay. But uh, we'll check that video out and talk about that one. Oh, uh, yeah. So, looking at this one right here, right? Yep. Okay. Let's see. Uh, OBS. Well. Quick time. Yeah, this thing's acting up again. It's so hard to get this thing to act right. It does what it wants. Oh, that's why. Oh. Okay, it's that one, right? No, it's the other one. Boom. Oh, nailed it. Got it. All right, let's do it. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. See your enemies before they see you with this updated visibility guide in Warzone 2. This works on PC or console, and it's going to take your game from this to this. So what you need to do what? is go to settings, I can't see a interface, color customization. You change this to filter 2. This should be set to both. World color intensity should be at least oh. 80, but you can crank it up based on your preference. It'll just I guess it's like the graphics in the game. Interface mm. should makes always be 100. The, the map and then you want to change your HUD okay. color palette to try like I'm to almost halfway there. And then I like to change I can neutral see, like, to pink so my pings are very clearly seen. Now, to make your game or look a lot clearer, you're going to go to quality, moving, fidelity, the, the CAS, the wall, and crank this all the way up. You can also use okay. NVIDIA DLSS. This will actually increase your frame rate as long as you turn it to ultra performance and ultra. increase the sharpness. For everything Warzone, hit the follow. You heard what he said. Hit the follow. Hit the follow. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, man. All right, man. Those are all the videos. Wasn't nothing like that damn slut walk shit. What the fuck? Man, it's... I don't know. <laughs> Bro, look, I'm from San Francisco, okay? You know, we got a little spot on the other side of town called... Castro. Mm -hmm. like that's where all the, you know, the gay folks like to hang out at. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Nothing wrong with the gay people. But, you know, they got their own. So they have their little, you know, stuff they do, you know, little gay parades and stuff. I mean, I guess it ain't that bad. I ain't never been to one. but mm -hmm. I've been to one. But I've been to a few uh, gay clubs. Bruh, like, dude, slapping. They be slapping. They go, they party. Them motherfuckers can party. Yeah. Yep. And just like my dude said, uh, Matt on uh TikTok, he said, uh, he said, I don't want, I don't never want to be gay. He said, I want to be in gay shape though. He said, cause every gay person he sees is in excellent shape and always dressing, you know, to the T, bro. Like, yeah, best dress, best shape. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would love to be in gay shape too, man. But oh god, I'm good though. Man, yeah, I remember uh, I went with a few friends to a uh, gay pride. And it was up in Nashville. I guess it's downtown. I don't know. But anyway, it was an interesting um, situation. I had never been to a place like that before. Um, some interesting interesting things going on there. Dude, they're um, amazing, man. Just, yeah. just to hang out with them, just look, listen to what they're talking yeah. about, man. They're cool as fuck. Yeah. You know, it's shout out to the uh, to the to the gay world, man. You know, got to give yeah. love to the to them too. Yeah, for sure. Um, we support, yo. Well, I, I support the people, um, you know, but uh, I got, that, I got that lifestyle is not mine for sure. Yeah, not mine either, but I got no, <laughs> I got no hate for them. <laughs> no hate for Number sure. love for them, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that... Uh, That's how it should be. You should have love for people in this world, man. Quit yeah, for sure. People. Yeah, I mean, it's, there's enough room for everybody. Right. Haters yeah. just make your day. Well, I don't know. I like haters though. I feed off their energy. Yeah. What do you think about like the drag drag stuff in front of kids and stuff? Uh I mean, if you ever been to a club playing Asheville, mm -mm. I mean, well, you know, they do their drag shows. 
Yeah. You know? yeah. And most parents do bring their kids in there to watch them, which I don't see nothing wrong with it. I mean, they're clothed. They're just doing a job. Yeah. I mean, hmm. it ain't that bad. I watched them. But. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not a fan of the idea, but, you know, I mean, of course, there's differing opinions about it. Oh, yeah. But, uh. Yeah, man. I mean, this this whole thing. One thing that stood out to me with that one video was this uh, her sexual liberation. I was like, so you felt like you couldn't sleep around? I mean, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> uh, what? Get her Instagram and send her a message. <laughs> we need to know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I'm like, I don't Sorry. think that the women's suffrage was about being able to be a slut. Right back in the day, I, back in the day was what? It was free understand. love. That was hippie times, man. Seventies, you feel me? Well, I mean, this women's suffrage movement was in the thirties, I think. Whew. But it was about women couldn't own property. I think they they couldn't vote. Um, there's other you know uh, rights that women didn't have. Uh, I can't remember the reasons for that, but uh, oh yeah, the women's suffrage, the women's women's suffrage movement. Um, I don't think that's what she's referring to. I can't. I mean, a sexual liberation came about once birth control came on the scene, which basically meant that women, uh, people could have sex without any repercussions of uh, getting pregnant. Well, fuck, wear a condom. So, but they weren't, contraception wasn't really a big thing back then. So, I think the 70s or, I think the 70s is when, no, the 60s or something like that, that uh, birth control was invented and other types of contraceptions. And I guess that's what she's talking about, that the liberation to be able to have sex whenever she wants, with whomever she wants, as many as she wants, I think that's what she's talking about. So It just sounds like she's just an independent woman out there trying to have fun. Yeah, I, I mean, wouldn't say what, it being a slut. Yeah, why you gotta? Because that is not the definition whatsoever. No. <laughs> I know like, people that have not had Google sex slut. Before. That is not what it is. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I know people that have not had sex before, and they're having fun. So if I have fun, does that mean I'm a slut? Not if you're out <laughs> sleeping around. <laughs> if you're out sleeping around every night, you know, then still. there's a problem. Yeah, you know. I don't know. It's just some of these ways of thinking, and I think we trip each other up with our own ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm gonna treat you. I'm, I'm gonna trip you up too, cause you dumb too, probably. See what sluts do? They be calling that one doctor, one eight hundred. Got FCDs? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't fucking with them, man. Oh God. Uh, I noticed you had some new buttons to. To work we, with, we, we I mean, you wanna? I, you do not want no. I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe, me to, maybe they want to hear what we're play. what we're talking about. Maybe we'll have a real quick skit. A, a if skit you, if you fill up to it. What was the name of the show today? That <laughs> boy, we are Guns for Hire. <laughs> 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 name of the show is Guns for Hire. Not course, literally though. So don't be trying to call no. us to mark somebody because it's not gonna happen. That's a felony. It's illegal. For sure. For <laughs> sure. Uh don't do this at home, kids. But the reason why we have just kind of like uh just random names is because we want to be able to have something that's kind of themed with combat and cub. Military, <laughs> all those types of things. So let's do a skit with these voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yes. quit. <laughs> what? 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 It's great. Let's do it, man. Bruh. Let's do it. I mean, I could go all day. Bruh. Bruh, I, I can quit. go all day. I'm sure you can, man, but we can't. <laughs> Come on. All right, you got your voice. So, check this out. Guns for hire. Guns for hire. Oh, I gotta do. I gotta do a higher voice. Unless you wanna do the high voice. <laughs> you don't want me to do the squeaky voice. Okay. <laughs> Who is this person speaking in my ears? They call me Zool. 
zoo, like the place that holds a bunch of animals. I didn't say zoo. I said zoo. Z o o l. Z o o m. Like when you zoom in. Where are you located? Where am I located? I'm not telling you that, dude. Can I fuck up slice your throat? Huh? I don't have a throat, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got to throw I think you'll tell me anything. <laughs> I can barely tell what this guy is saying. I'm gonna have to add some other wins. Find some really cool voiceovers. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We got to. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm situated. You ready? For what? Or that was it? <laughs> man, look. Hey, y'all let us know if you guys want more of that stuff, man. We can come up with stuff all day long. Right? Just hit the like, hit the subscribe, comment at the bottom. Your boy get back to you. Ten four. But check this out, man. That's all the time we got for you today, you know. It's your man, Combat. Got my man Cub. I'm Cub. Episode six. We out, baby. We out. What the fuck? <laughs> I scared the shit out of me. Oh, man. God.